Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anjua and in this video, I want to throw some highlights on some fairly new releases as well as some upcoming releases from my Middle Eastern houses. These are going to be Middle Eastern houses, you know. I know when it comes to some of these fragrances, you can find them in other jurisdiction, but they are not Middle Eastern. They are, you know, like Western dupes. But I'm talking about Middle Eastern dupes. I'll call these dupes un uncommon because I don't see a lot of them on the market. Some of them I've never even seen on the market. These are going to be the first sort of batch of those types of fragrances that are being duped on the market, in my opinion. And there have been a couple of people asking me, you know, a couple of times whether I have seen dupes of some of these fragrances. And for the first time, I'm able to bring these ones to your attention. I think just um one of I have just one of them here in my collection that I'm even about to speak about and the rest I'm yet to experience them for myself. So I'm going to start off with a dupe that I recently found from Fragrance World and most of these fragrances are going to come from FA Paris French Avenue and then Fragrance World which I believe are you know sister companies I believe there are two or three other houses which are like subsidiaries to Fragrance World so most of them are going to come from this house as well as other houses so the first one i have here is going to be a reported dupe of a fragrance i sampled about a year ago and i actually have a, a decant not a decant i actually have a, a sample of it from tiziana terenzi and this one is called turtle for a fruity scent it felt very sexy to me it had some depth it has some you know character to it and until recently i got to smell afternoon swim and i realized that it is quite close to afternoon swim by louis vuitton Whereas that one is more like a daytime one, I would consider this one as a more intense nighttime afternoon swim sort of, you know, fragrance. I was so glad when I found out that French Avenue has a dupe of it called Diwani Rabat. I'll put every fragrance on the screen here so that, you know, I get to share it with you. So Fragrance World or French Avenue has a, a dupe of it called Diwani Rabat. And this includes the notes of grapefruit, peach, blackcurrant, magnolia amber tuberose iris lily of the valley sandalwood vetiver among a host of them so this is actually tiziana terenzi's turtle a very intense deep sultry fruity afternoon swim vibes but more intense in my opinion and i can't wait to try the dip from um, french avenue so that is going to be the first one the next one I have here is one that I have, I think, already introduced on this channel. And this is going to be Candy Rose by Grand Dior. And by the bottle, you can tell it's a deep for Born in Roma by Valentino. And that is a fragrance I get a lot of people asking me about if I, I know about um, a Middle Eastern dew. And I have never come or I had never come across one until this one. However, I don't think it's giving me like 100% Born in Roma. I'm yet to review this fragrance, you know, but um, for the price and everything, I think it's a good one. Although to me, I think it, it, it goes in a, in a slightly different direction that I will give in depth details when I do my full, my full um, review of this fragrance. But it's called Candy Rose by French Avenue. You know, the bottle, it's by itself. It's a telltale that it's duping something from Valentino. So that is going to be Candy Rose from French Avenue. Oh, no, not French Avenue. Grandeur. Grandeur. That is Candy Rose. The next one I'm excited to try is going to be from Fragrance World. And this is called Ish Al Alial. And it's in a wineish bottle. And this has been reported to be a dupe for Joe Malone's Scarlet Poppy. I don't think I've seen Scarlet Poppy um, from any Middle Eastern house. And this has a note of poppy flour. It has almond, vanilla, and some toffee. As well as some other, you know, notes. But these are the ones I was able to get my hands on. And it's been reported to be a dip for that. I have not, I have no idea how that particular fragrance smells. So I'll be excited to try that as well as the, the dupe. So if you are looking for a Scarlet Poppy by Joe Malone dupe, look out for Ishk Al Alayo by Fragrance World. That is the name of the, 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 I'll list everything in the description. Every single fragrance I mentioned here, I'll list them in the description. So we have one from Joe Malone, Scarlet Poppy, Ishk or Ishkat Al Alayal. Then we have another one by the same name, but this one goes like Ishkat Al Alayal Forever. This is going to be the green one. It has a green bottle. I didn't get the notes for this, but it is reported to be a deep four. A man is stronger with you, Oud. Not the OG, a man is stronger with you, but the Oud variant or the 
Amani stronger with you would um particular in particular so if you are looking for a man is stronger with you that is going to be your best bet you know at least from what i know so we have ish al ayal for scarlet um joe malone's scarlet puppy and then ish al layal forever for a man is stronger with you would both i'm super excited to try especially the one for scarlet puppy by joe malone so that is going to be it. and the next one i have here is going to be zachariat lux by freelance world this i would love to try like i'm almost on the verge of buying this fragrance because it's, it's been reported to be a fragrance or a dupe for amani magenta magenta tanzanite magenta tan tanzanite this fragrance was hyped up like a couple of years ago and what happened was i was able to get a decant of uh minui e demi by the youtuber demi rollings and that fragrance has been compared to magenta tanzanite and i absolutely love that fragrance so thinking about it being the same scent profile or scent family i'm curious about zacharia lacks from fragrance world i think um the notes includes tobacco coffee cardamom ginger bergamot you know those are the notes that have been provided um currently but i'm super excited about this and i'm like on the verge of getting this fragrance just because i was able to sample or i have a decant of the minui and me and i love that so hopefully hopefully at the right time i might add this one to my collection so it's called zachariat lux by fragrance world for magenta tanzanite by amani amani yes okay so i'll move on to the next one which is going to be from cartilage a house i'm being or i'm i'm almost obsessed with the house at this point and this one i think it's already out it's called Le Prestige Royale and it's, it is reportedly a dupe for Hibiscus Mahajan, which I have not tried. And I think I've also seen um, one from Fragrance World, which is Artisan Habis. Whatever it is, I'll put it in the screen, you know. I've seen another dupe of the same Fragrance Hibiscus Mahajan from Fragrance World, but this one is coming from Cadillac. So at least I know of two known dupes for Habiscus Mahajan, one from Fragrance World, and then the other from Cadillac, known as Le, Le Prestige Royale. So if you're on the hunt for that very um hyped up, raved about, super loved um niche fragrance, you can go either with Le Prestige Royale from Cadillac or from Fragrance World. And I have heard a lot of good things about the one from fragrance world so between those two i wouldn't be able to tell which one to choose but at least th those are the two known dupes i have come across when it comes to hibiscus mahajan then i move on to paris corner and this one is not going to be a dupe of an uncommon dna i'm surprised paris corner came out you know or, is, or has come up with this dna in 2024 because it's it's been done why i sell tuxedo it's been done like three four years back but apparently paris corner has a dupe for it called with a cat adorn it follows in the same with a cat line you know like a flanker but this one is duping or apparently it's a dupe for ysl tuxedo well i don't know maybe it would be a better option or something but i know about suits i know about kismet for men i know about a whole lot you know there are so many why i saw tuxedo dupes that i have come across you know but paris corner decided has has decided to bless us with one more which to me is quite redundant in 2024 you know nonetheless it is here with us now so if you are a diehard fan of paris corner probably you would want to want to have um with a cat adorn in your collection another one from fragrance world i'm curious to try is going to be intense addiction and this is reportedly a dupe for initial addictive vibration that i don't know anything about i don't think i ever really saw it being hyped or overhyped initials addictive vibration you know and that has been reported to be in the same sort of family as alien you know so i don't know how people are going to receive that because alien is an, like an old school dna that a lot of us know about but fragrance world has a version of the original one from initial known as addictive vibration and this one is called intense addiction so if you also want to try something in the alien family but with a bit of a twist that i suppose is going to be 
then i would highly recommend fragrance world intense addiction this has the notes of honey apple blossom orange blossom and some mask you know totally different from the notes for alien but somehow it's been reported to smell alike you know but um that is the information i have about that particular fragrance intense addiction by fragrance world which is reportedly a deep for initials addictive vibration another fragrance dna which i feel is already a little out there is going to be that yam pistachio from kali and fragrance world has come up with their own which is going to be known as extremely unique pista it's a kali fragrance in a zezhov inspired bottle i don't know how they did that but kali in a zezhov inspired bottle but it has that same frosty green you know um pale green very lovely color as the same uh, as kali which i love but the bottle is going to give you zezhov vibes apparently it's a dupe for kali um from a very reliable source so if you have that or if you get to see that bottle and you already have um affection love or even care pistachio probably you might not need that but it's reportedly a dupe which includes the notes of pistachio hazelnut cassis bad amongst a host of others so that is going to be extremely unique pista from fragrance world okay so the next one is going to be a fragrance that i have had a lot of requests about um versace's crystal noir a lot of people ask me if i know about this and i have not come across a known dupe probably there are others there are some on the market but personally i have not really come across any of them but fragrance world has one which is called fragrance world versus crystal noir versus crystal noir and it's like the name it's a telltale indication that it's duping versace crystal noir so you can look up that if you are looking for a dupe for crystal noir by versace this one is from fragrance world and it is known as versus crystal noir let me move on to some few fragrances from fragrance world which they have referred to as their own creation the bottles by themselves do not ring a bell the note structure by themselves do not ring any bell and fragrance world is referring to them as their own creation and the first one i have here is going to be atoll al alam that is the the sub sister company from fragrance world that made this company and the fragrance is called classic classic and according to them is their own creation this has oriental accord dark rum timu pepper vanilla incense iris may tonka vanilla benzoin and incense this even though they say is their own creation by the bottle nobody should tell you what i think it is inspired by but according to fragrance what they claim it is their own creation so i would like to go with that you know until i'm proving otherwise but according to them is their own creation but the bottle and the note structure in this case it's a telltale indication that it's likely going to be angel share but i'm yet to try it so i wouldn't be able to tell if you have tried any of these fragrances let me know in the comment section so that is going to be classic from fragrance world or at all al alarm you know one of their sister companies and this one is called classic the next one is not going to be one that i have come across anywhere also claim to be their own creation you know and this one is also from that same at all al alarm a sister company of fragrance world and this is called pride by night pride by night and the bottle is like middle eastern to the t it gives me middle eastern arabian you know it's one of their monuments you know um i've forgotten the name of the monument you know one of the landmarks in dubai and then they captured it in the bottle you know so it's, it's it's very intricate it's very beautiful to me it's like a collector's piece when it comes to the bottle by itself so this one has the notes of juniper berry lemon bergamot clary sage tea sandalwood olibadam cardamom cashmere amber patchouli and cedarwood pair the notes they come across as quite masculine to me to me, a lot of things with juniper berry, bergamot, clary sage, you know, tea, patchouli, cedarwood, sandalwood, screams masculine to me. So I'm 
beginning to think is a masculine leaning scent because it has a counterpart, you know, or another pair which seem much more feminine, you know, but this one seemed much more masculine leaning to me because of the notes. I'm not too sure what this one is duping, but they say, or Fragrance World says it's their own creation. So I'll move on to the next one, which is also the same sort of, you know, I think they are in the same line. And this is going to be called Pride. The first one is called Pride by Night, and this is called Pride. This also has the same bottle, you know, same design, everything. And it has the following notes. Bergamot, ginger, pink pepper, saffron, benzoin, patchouli, vanilla, amber green. Um, and other, other notes, you know, and other notes. The notes doesn't give me feminine per se, but probably because of the vanilla, benzoin, um, saffron, it's sort of giving me a little more of a unisex feminine leaning, you know, scent. But the bottles, you know, for the, the, the former and this one are quite, you know, um, the same. Most likely one is a his version and the other is a his version, you know, but I'm yet to try all these ones, you know, and um, if I'm able to do that, I will definitely bring them to your attention. So according to Fragrance World, Pride by Night and then Pride are their own creation. The next one I know has been making the rounds just quite a bit on YouTube. That is the only place I've seen um, the next one, which is reported to be a dupe for Parfum de Mali's Altair. And this is known as French Avenue Liquid brand liquid brand for the color alone you know the color the the bottle is not like a telltale indication that it's duping uh, perfume de mali's attire but the the color you know the color that bent orange gives that indication you know and I've, I think I've seen quite a, just one or two people talking about this fragrance and giving it like great reviews. And the notes for this one includes vanilla and some spices, some cardamom, bergamot, orange blossom, bourbon, vanilla, LMA, ambroxin, gap wood, praline, and max. This is quite an expensive fragrance. I can't wait to have my hands or my nose on this one, you know, uh, at least, at least. Let me try this one because everybody has been, or a lot of people have been raving about the perfume, the Mali version, and it's super expensive. I'm not ready for that price, but I'm ready for fragrance, fragrance world price. So I think it is something that you can look into. French, Ave it's not fragrance world, you know, but they are all in the same family. French Avenue Liquid brand that is the name of the fragrance the next one is also going to be from the brand fragrance world itself and this is supposedly or they have reported that this is a dupe for la belle le parfum you know i'm not necessarily a huge fan of la belle fragrances whereas i love teriyak you know which gives me a slightly different direction that i much prefer over the original La Belle, La Belle Intense, Le Parfum, whatever it is. But Fragrance World is giving options here. So this fragrance is called Hayati Belle. Hayati Belle. It's one of, it's one of those Hayati um, um, packaging, you know, Hayati packaging. It comes across as quite feminine leaning with the packaging and everything. And it has the notes of pear, jasmine, tonka, elaine, vanilla, wood, mask, as well as Muget, Muget, that is the name of the, the, the note, you know. So if you are a fan of La Belle Le Parfum and you want to get, you know, um, a deep of it, look Fragrance World's way and look for Hayati Bell. And the last one here is going to be also from Fragrance World and it's going to be the, the, the male counterpart to La Belle Le Parfum, which is going to be Hayati Bow. And that is reported to be a deep for Jean-Paul Gaultier's La Lebo for men, Lebo for men. So this includes a note of orange, bergamot, coconut, lavender, cedarwood, kayak wood, tonka, and vetiver. I mean that these two, the label and the Jean Paul Gaultier version, it's the uh, for men, they are quite common on the market. You know, the, the original versions are quite common on the market. I'm, I've not seen any known dupe for. La Belle Le Parfum, I've not seen anyone, any any house bringing out that, you know, probably except for the Western um, Duke houses. But when it comes to a Middle Eastern house, I'm not familiar with any of them until I got to know about Hayati Bell. So these are the fragrances I have here. And the ones that I'm super excited about are going to be the one that is for Tiziana Terenzi's um, Magenta Tanzanite. I'm happy about that. 
I also can't wait to try the one from French Avenue that is dripping Tiziana Terence's title, which I love, but gives me almost the same vibes as Afternoon Swing by Louis Vuitton. You know, it, it's, it's, it's a good time, you know, when it comes to Fragrance World and other Middle Eastern houses because they are bringing us uncommon fragrance dupes and i'm here for that i'm here for that so that is going to be eight i'm still working on compiling others that i'll bring to your attention as soon as i'm i'm done with them and i hope this video found you well please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and i hope to see you in my next one take care bye bye